गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हेमंत शर्मा एंड फर्स्टली आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल डॉक्टर एम एल ए एंड डॉक्टर लोकेश आर न्यू डॉक्टर ज्वाइनिंग आर क्लास एंड ही गिव अस अप्रीशियस टाइम आर टूडेज टॉपिक इज हैपेटाइटिस बी हैपेटाइटिस बी माई डियर फ्रेंड्स always in every exam in us emli in pgi chandigarh in aims in neat pg any examination there is a question with hepatitis b always always you see last year papers last five years always one question and this is very high yield topic today i am going to explain okay hepatitis b i test means it's an infection and inflammation of a liver hepato means liver liver its family is hepatina virus its dna is reverse transcriptase uh, hepatitis uh, b virus is a dna virus which is reverse transcriptase and its shape is icosahedral nucleocapsid they are such question in microbiology okay its incubation period is begin from 30 to 180 days and uh, symptoms include right upper quadrant pain why right upper quadrant pain because we have the liver liver located here sometimes fever infection headache weight loss and some extra some time and joint days okay my dear friends now we are going to know how this virus transmits how this virus transmits this virus transmits by blood and body fluids IV drug users, sexual intercourse, tattoos, and this virus we found in polyarthritis nodosa. That is vasculitis. Here P N size positive. So my dear friends, when we read about the polyarthritis nodosa, vasculitis, our next topic, then I will explain you what is it. In it, polyarthritis nodosa always associated with hepatitis B virus. hepatitis b virus and here the renal failure glomerulonephritis okay my dear friends now very very important i am going to explain you so first question uh, my goes to uh, dr lokesh firstly i am going to ask uh, if hepatitis b surface antigen is positive surface antigen shows the infectivity infectivity and hepatitis b e antigen its envelope means active earliest highly infective shows hepatitis b c igm is acute and igg is for chronic infection and these are okay only hepatitis b surface antigen is positive and all our markers are negative what indicates dr lokesh ip yes he is right ip it shows the incubation period because all other markers are negative that's very good i am happy okay <coughs> our next question if hepatitis b surface antigen is positive and hepatitis b core immunoglobulin antibodies is positive so what does it indicates so my dear friends please think about it it indicates its chronicity and its infectivity so it's a simple carrier simple s i m p l e simple carrier c a w r i e r carrier no problem till here okay next time if hepatitis b surface antigen is positive hepatitis b e envelope antigen is positive but igm is negative hepatitis b c immunoglobulin g is positive then it is super carrier super carrier is it super carrier okay then if hepatitis b surface antigen negative e negative all markers are negative only hepatitis b surface antibodies is positive this question goes to dr emily so answer dr post vaccination yes he is absolutely right here and i am very glad such a good student sitting in my class such a good doctor sitting in my class and attending my lecture he is really right he is of course is it post vaccination good keep it up post vaccination 
so dr lokesh my question next with you I his am. vaccine gives wear i am i am yes on deltoid the hepatitis b vaccine give i am intramuscular on deltoid reason so my dear friends lokesh is also very good actively participating in my class okay next one if all the markers are negative only hepatitis b core immunoglobulin g is for chronicity is positive and hepatitis b antibodies surface antibodies are positive then then it indicates my dear friends it's cure infection is cure it goes in recovery phase this is known as recovery recovery why recovery because immunoglobulin g appears chronicity but no infectivity and antibodies autoimmune antibodies develop against the infection that is recovery patient recovers after hepatitis b infection very good okay then another one if hepatitis b surface antigen positive e antigen positive and igm positive so igm shows acute it shows active acute active hepatitis b virus acute active infection acute active infection so easy acute active infection of hepatitis b virus it is so easy no and next one seventh is also same it's g chronic here negative active ig here immuno uh, it's uh, envelop antigen and infection so this is chronic active infection of hepatitis b let's see super carrier and here chronic what was the difference between those here the super carriers are have no symptoms last symptomatic but here is symptomatic maybe actors joint days in such okay then this is a very good task if someone answer i think dr emily will answer i am just explain if uh, hepatitis b surface antigen is positive e is negative igm is negative but this one is positive and this one is positive hepatitis b e antibodies and uh, so it will show the chronic infection with liver mild liver disease okay another task only one igm is positive and all other are negative so dr emily window yes this is a window period window period my dear guys this is a window period he is absolutely right window period and i am going to explain the meaning of window period window period means the hepatitis b surface antigen going to be disappears and in this period the hepatitis b surface antibody is going to be developed it is a period between those it after that it indicate the recovery so between disappearance of hepatitis b surface antigen and appearance of hepatitis b surface antibodies against the infection and it is a period between both so this is known as a window period yes my dear friend you have a very excellent knowledge and i am very happy and glad good keep it up keep it up good 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 very good excellent this answer is a very well done thank you thank you my dear friend okay please take your seat okay i am happy happy very very well done another if this is negative and e is positive and igm is positive and antibodies are also positive it indicate the post vaccination a patient undergoes a infection how i will explain you post vaccination that's why this is negative this one is negative because he is already vaccinated but he is active is positive acute is positive but antibodies are here because antibodies of vaccination this is post vaccine infection develop so till here we all done a very good job and this is known as escape mutant escape mutant so my dear friends in exam this is very important chart and once a year one question with it there is a no question paper without this chart without this laboratory data they always like to ask 
so i hope you understand so i am going to explain you how to treat how to treat this this virus is treated by i uh, take uh, this keywords a delete d e l e t e delete a means absent and delete delete everything delete so a here represent alpha interferon a for alpha interferon and d e d e i took a d e a d for v a d for v l l represent lamivudi e represent entecavir and t e tenofovir and telbuvudin okay my dear friends and complication when this hepatitis b occurs sometimes it goes in chronic hepatitis b it causes the liver cirrhosis and then the hepatocellular carcinoma hepatocellular carcinoma but hepatitis b never goes in adenomas it goes in carcinoma so my dear friends that's all i hope you like my video and if you have some question you can ask me i am always ready to help you i am always happy and so my dear friends thanks again thanks for giving me a time thanks for watching my videos and thanks dr lokesh thanks dr emily those who are actively answering in my classes and nowadays day by day their levels are improved and uh, for the online viewers i am very glad and i hope my video will help you and if you have any queries you can put comments and i will answer you that's all my dear friends have a good day good night my dear friends okay